Good morning. Today, starting off our day with conditions that are, in some cases, quite snowy at this point in time in North Dakota. We're watching another system move through. Here in Fargo, we're doing just fine. We're looking westward on I-94 and uh, conditions are pretty quiet at the moment, but we will see our chances for snow increasing through the morning hours and potentially impacting your morning commute and some of us are being impacted right now. So let's take a look at that radar. We've got conditions that are snowy into the Minot and Bismarck area or we were starting to quiet down in that region. We'll see that snow work its way eastward slowly and so northern valley also for you up in Pembina and Kitson counties we're seeing a little bit of light snow on the radar but certainly as we're looking off to the west Devil's Lake down toward Carrington Jamestown looks like we're about to see a little round of snow move through and then up by Candu this is that area where we'll see that snow first it's pretty light it's not going to be a, a major snowfall for us in the valley but we know even those very light snowfall events can wreak havoc on your drive especially if it's happening during the busy time of day and this morning it may be for you. Our visibility is looking fine most places but up to the northwest where we've started to see that snow. We're down to two miles in Langdon and three in Candu for your visibility. So be aware that that's coming down in those places where we're getting snow. The wind isn't too strong. The only exception is Sisseton where we've got a gust to 21 right now. And checking out your temperatures. They are pretty mild. We're into the single digits to some teens. 13 degrees in Fargo, 8 in Grand Forks. Not necessarily warm, but uh, we are above zero and any time in February and January when we're above zero, that's something to be glad for. And we're looking at some conditions for us today that are going to be uh, kind of uh, cooling down gradually. So here's a look at how everything's going to play out in your hour by hour planner. This is starting at 7 a.m. So a couple of hours from now, we're looking at that snow advancing eastward, a couple of spotty areas of that impacting us in eastern North Dakota, 9 a.m. You could see that snow coming through. So this is going to be more impactful for that drive this morning in eastern North Dakota rather than into Minnesota. Minnesota counties, things are going to be a little quiet for you uh, for the time being. But as we work our way through the day, we'll see that chance for some snow continuing to advance eastward. Noon hour, you could see that. And then continuing into the afternoon, it kind of blossoms a little bit more. And we see some of that snow more into Minnesota, extreme southeastern North Dakota, including Fargo. With temperatures, there's a range here. I want to point that out. We're looking at some 20s into Lakes Country this afternoon. Not too bad, but we're already on the other side of this system up in Devil's Lake and Langdon. And so that's where we're going to be seeing that colder air driving in already and temperatures that are going to be feeling a lot cooler with some wind chills that are even lower. So something to be aware of. Heading into tonight, that snow and the system itself just kind of gradually works its way eastward. And eventually, as we get into the 5 a.m. time frame tomorrow morning, most of that snow is done. We just have some clouds hanging on. And you can see where the cold air has really taken over a little blast there up in northeastern North Dakota, especially with temperatures in the teens below zero. Southern Valley, we're looking at holding on to some above zero temperatures in the morning, but going nowhere. We're not going to see those numbers rise. So snowfall potential, we're looking at most areas, seeing a flake or two at least, some of us getting a coating of snow. And then there's that potential where we see maybe that snow lasting a little bit longer this afternoon and evening, where we may get more than an inch of snow, just enough to make it slick. And as we head into the day tomorrow, we're talking cold. That's going to be the story for your Friday. Temperature Temperatures are going to stay near zero and some of us as we head into the nighttime hours will or all of us or almost all of us will drop below that zero degree mark. So a cold Friday ahead. Here's your photo today. Snowmobile sunrise in Underwood. Thanks, Kevin, for sharing that. A pretty shot. And in your seven day planner, again, it's a little bit of snow today, cold tomorrow, this weekend back into the 20s for Saturday. And then we have that chance for a little bit of light snow in the south on Sunday. We recover into the start of next week, but it gets a little more active. And for Wednesday, we've got it highlighted in red to alert you that we've got that potential storm uh, threatening us for the second half of next week. So stay tuned on that. Okay, thank you, Lisa. Treat your sweetheart and help support the Ronald McDonald House. We'll tell you how you can do both coming up next.